All right, guys, welcome. Uh, Victoria, Kate, glad to have you on. People will be hopping on and off as we record here, and that's perfectly fine. Today's class is on Slim and Sassy, the metabolic blend, as well as some of the new detox products. Um, and I'm, I love, I love, I've got my Slim and Sassy here. I got my Slim and Sassy here. I just love the smell of it. We're gonna talk about the power of even just smelling it a little bit later. But if you've got your Slim and Sassy, go ahead and, and bring it out as you continue to learn today. All right, so uh, there are in other markets, so I live in China, if you are watching and you don't know who I am, I live in Shanghai here. Um, so there's a soft gel here in other markets that you can get. Ron and I, my husband, we make our own little Slim and Sassy soft gels. Um, in our market, it's called Smart and Sassy. Uh, but this is the product that we're going to mainly focus on today, and we're going to talk about a sustainable and healthy weight loss and detoxification. So these are U.S. stats versus worldwide stats of obesity, and I don't think it's, I mean, I think pretty much everyone knows that obesity is a really, a really big challenge in our world. Um, what's really interesting is I've lived in China for 12 years, and I've seen obesity in the younger generations just skyrocket. And it's scary. Some of the things that are linked to obesity, uh, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and also breast and colon cancer. Um, and so, like, it's a big deal. Like, obesity is a really big deal. And I love this list. Um, typical causes of weight gain, overeating, poor quality food choices, lack of exercise, stress, toxic load, genetic factors, and blood type and abnormal health issues. So what I love about this is that one, two, three, four five of them, the top five in this list are actually within our control, right? Nobody holds you down and shoves food down your mouth for overeating. I overeat, but I do it to myself, right? Um, we choose as adults the, the food that we buy. We choose it for our children. Um, we choose whether or not we get out and choose exercise, whether we choose to prioritize ourselves. We can or cannot choose, um, the level of stress on our bodies. I mean, there are external stressors, but we can choose to reprioritize our calendars and our, um, our lives to the best ability that we can to help manage the stress. And we can use oils to manage our stress and toxic load. So if you're like me and you live in China, I talk about toxic load all the time. And it's the little things, it's the toxins in our shampoo, in our conditioner, in our face creams, um, the things that we use to clean our homes. Um, gosh, down to our detergent and our um, fabric softener, if we use fabric softener. And then we go outside and we open our windows and we are bombarded constantly with toxins. And the thing about toxic overload, especially for me in China, is it's a subtle danger, right? There's a video called, um, mm, what's the toxin video? Victoria, you can pop that up there. Um, there's a video called, ah, maybe Victoria will remember and she'll pop it up there for me. Um, the toxin video, ah, I don't remember. Um, but it talks about, the, the example is when the, um, the big, disaster in Japan. The people that got sick immediately, they were the easy ones to, to figure out. They were the easy cases to solve. You got sick because you were exposed to this big natural disaster, these toxins. But he says in the video, it's the people who got Alzheimer's 10 years too early or dementia or this cancer or that cancer a couple of years too early that those are, the, those are the, the undiagnosed cases. Those are the, you can't exactly connect the dots from A to B cases. And that's what I fear after being here so long. That toxic load, if we don't manage that, guys, that's our future, very potentially. Um, genetic factors, we have less control over body type. We have less control over abnormal health issues. We usually have less control over. But we need to take heart because overeating, poor quality food choices, lack of exercise, stress, and toxic load are fully within our power. So that's what we're going to talk about today is how do we, how do we use those to our benefit? So we have some weight loss myths. Um, obviously, we know that obesity is a problem. Most people struggle with either a lot of extra weight or just a couple extra stubborn pounds. 
So I like this, I like this list of myths because this is what we hear in the media, what we hear among our friend circles, and we just want to dispel some of these myths. Um, oh, I want to lose weight, so I'm just going to eat less and skip meals. When we do that, it actually lowers our metabolism and our bodies go into starvation mode. So then anytime we give it something yummy or some extra fat or carbs, it's going to store it because it's going to think, well, you didn't feed me for a really long time last time, so I'm not falling for starvation again. So we need to make sure that we don't skip meals. The best thing we could do is have smaller meals more throughout the day. Every three hours, every three and a half hours is ideal. Oh, we just want to exercise more. Okay. We do want to exercise, but we do not need to exercise for two hours at a time, three hours at a time, right? Some, some people, they can have a tendency to over-exercise. Um, in the first 30 minutes, our body actually draws on extra sugar, which is why we need to cut down on sugar. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, and we start to burn fat after 30 minutes. I had the most success with fat loss, not just weight loss, but fat loss, measured fat loss, when I would exercise first thing in the morning um, on an empty belly. I was also 22, so it worked, um, and I didn't have a family at that time, so it worked, but I found that it kickstarted my metabolism, it drew out as like, more fat than I thought possible doing it at that time, and it just gave me a sustained burn throughout the day. Low-fat diet. Oh, I'll want to lose weight, I'll just go low-fat or low-carb. Okay, what are some of the benefits, or what are some of the uh, effects of going low-fat or low-carb? Um, low-fat Foods are typically low in fiber as well, and they can be high in processed carbs and contain things like MSG, which we don't want in our bodies. Low carb diets, um, same thing, kind of that no fiber that leads to constipation, stress on our kidneys, um, increased risk for disorders, coronary heart attacks, cancer, and all that stuff. So we want to be a little bit more balanced and make healthy choices throughout the day. And that's where the products that we're going to talk specifically about today come in. Here's the truth. Um, when we have fewer calories, it actually slows our metabolism. That is why, um, oh, I could talk about like, like food control and diets all day long. Uh, Cause I've done some for weightlifting and, and that back in the day. But when you intentionally starve your body for too long, it slows your metabolism. And then the food comes back and it stores as, as fat because your body again is in starvation mode. Um, so if you are going to, if you are trying hardcore to lose weight, the, the rhythm that worked for my body and you have to play with it, the rhythm that worked for my body was, um, two days, low cal, one day normal. So your body's in low cal and then you trick it to be back to normal. No big deal guys. Everything's normal. I'm not starving you. And then you go back. So what worked for me at that time, I think I was doing maybe 1500 calories. This is, this is based on my body weight and my goals. 1,500 calories for two days, and then up to 18. 1,500, two days, and then up to 18. And I saw a fantastic um, release that way. Exercise is huge. Um, find something that's the biggest bang for your buck. You know, I know I talk about CrossFit a lot. If you know me, I, you know I talk about CrossFit. Um, one of the reasons I absolutely love CrossFit is that I can go three times a week and not have to do anything else. Because when you go to CrossFit three times a week, you kill yourself for that hour. It hurts. It's not always fun. But at the end, you know that you've gotten your biggest bang for your buck. You want to go to the gym and walk on a treadmill for 60 minutes or go outside and walk on a treadmill for 60 minutes. It's just not going to do it. You have to find something that balances cardio and muscle building. We'll talk about that in a minute here. Quality foods are more important than quantity. Um, we have the ability to choose the foods that go in our bodies. And so we want to make sure that we're choosing quality over pure quantity. Uh, quantity could simply be a massive salad, and that's fine, but you want to make sure that you've got the right stuff in that salad to spend a little bit more on, on safe produce. We know that salt and sugar, they cause weight gain, but they also are super addictive, and the, that addiction messes with our brains. If you want to do a little bit more research on salt and sugar just to scare the pants off of getting, like limiting that stuff in your diet, do the research. Salt and sugar are scary. Uh, fad diets don't work. Oh, I am all about everything in moderation. Um, I don't drink alcohol because I don't have a tolerance. I get really bad headaches. That does help with uh, weight management. Um, but healthy lifestyle, everything in moderation, I find from my personality type, um, 
some things I'm good black and white. Like I tend to binge when I'm stressed. So I don't buy Oreos. I don't buy chocolate. I don't buy cookies. I don't buy chips. I don't buy things that I don't want to eat because I find myself when I'm stressed, you know, I'm stressed when I'm standing in front of my pantry like this, looking for anything to just kind of shove that emotion down. That's my trigger. I know that. So we don't buy it. Um, Ron and I also don't go out to eat a lot because we end up spending our money, our hard earned money, um, on meals that don't, that aren't good for our bodies. So for example, our date nights used to be this meal. Um, we'd go out to a restaurant or whatever. And now our date nights is CrossFit and a massage because we want to fuel our body and have fun doing it together. So choosing a healthy lifestyle that fits within what you're trying to accomplish is really, really important as opposed to fad dieting. Our bodies also don't like fad diets. They don't like to be starved. They don't like to be, um, no carbs and then no fat and then it confuses our bodies so we just want to make sure that we're choosing healthy lifestyle kind of across the board and giving our bodies being kind to our bodies and giving it what it needs muscles burn calories okay you have two types well main body tissue muscle and fat fat does not burn as many calories as muscle does so i hear a lot of times oh i don't want to do crossfit or i don't want to do weight training because i don't want to look bulky Okay, that is a myth. For most people, it takes an enormous amount of hard work to even get any definition in their body. You want that muscle mass because that's what burns more calories. So if you're not doing some sort of strength conditioning, try and put some of that into your routine. Um, next, oh, toxins. <laughs> oh, toxins. Toxins cause weight gain and inhibit weight loss. We're gonna talk a little bit more on toxins in a bit. And then eating at the right time of day is important. Again, what worked for me was every three hours. Um, I probably, I'm not as good about that now. My husband jokes that if he didn't bring me my morning shake, I probably wouldn't eat till noon. And that's probably true. Like I just don't think about it anymore. I work from home and it's not the first thing on the, on the front of my mind anymore. Um, also eating super late is not good for your body either. Even though we want to go to bed kind of feeling full, that's not good for our digestion as we sleep. Okay, so. I love this pyramid. If you've not seen this pyramid yet, it's life-changing. So with doTERRA, this is the doTERRA um, Healthy Lifestyle Pyramid. And we know this, this is every, this, this, you've been learning this since the time you were a child. When we eat right, when we exercise, when we rest and manage our stress, and when we reduce toxic load, we end up with less medical conditions. Okay, at least out of those five that we can control. Um, what happens when something's wrong when we go to the doctor, what is the doctor saying in terms of our lifestyle? Eat right, exercise more, manage your stress, especially here, man. Like I find China for expats um, and for locals is, is stressful. It's stressful to live here. Um, rest more and reduce your toxic load. Okay, so we know that when we manage these four bottom levels that we end up in a better place with our health. And what I love about doTERRA is doTERRA is not an essential oil company, guys. It's a health and wellness company. We have solutions that help us with every single one of these, even the proactive medical care um, and informed self-care. I mean, all of this, all of this is exactly the tool that we have at our fingertips. So enter our slim and sassy in China. It's smart and sassy. Oh, I just love it. It's so refreshing. Um, we're going to talk specifically about this, but then I've got, I've got the new China products that I want to talk about in terms of detoxing and that as well. Okay. So what does Slim and Sassy, Smart and Sassy do? It helps control the appetite and helps regulate weight so you can keep it off longer. Now, Victoria Plekopol is famous for saying, if you sprinkle Slim and Sassy, Smart and Sassy on a Big Mac, it's not going to do much for you, right? So we have to know that this is, this helps us. As we choose to live a healthier lifestyle, this is a tool. This is not a miracle cure, okay? Um, so we need to do our part by exercising more and, and eating better things. I'm really lazy, like I don't love going to the gym. I love afterwards, like I love how I feel, I love how my body feels, I love how my mind feels, but it's, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not like, yeah, I'm not super jazzed about it all the time. So I know, that the better I eat, the less I have to go through the pain of working out. And that is a big enough drive for me, right? 
calories in, calories burned, and whatever we've got left over, for the most part, there is some quality that we've got to do in there. But for the most part, that determines what you look and feel like. Um, so I would rather not buy chips, not buy cake, not make sweets, and then have to train a little bit less, but that's just me. So this helps me when I'm out of the gym, make better food choices. Um, it also can help calm GI stress. So GI stands for gastrointestinal. That's our belly associated with dieting. Um, when we start to make health choices and we start to change our diets to healthier food, um, sometimes our bodies don't like it. I just finished a 28 day vegetarian challenge. Oh my gosh. It was like unbelievable. Like it was unreal. I felt like I could fly. I was so energized and now I'm back on meat. I'm kind of like, Mwah. um, but man, what happens to your belly and your gas and your excretion when you change your diet dramatically can be fierce. So we're going to talk about what's in this exactly in the next slide, but this can help calm our gastrointestinal tracts when we're changing our diet to something healthier. Um, it also supports healthy metabolism of fat and energy supports healthy insulin response. Insulin's a big deal. Type one, type two diabetes. It's a big deal in our community here. Supports management of toxins helps with hydration because finally you have something yummy to put in your water. Um, my citrus oils, my lemon, my lime, my orange, my smart and sassy live in my kitchen by my water cooler. So every time I get my water, my glass, of course, because you don't want to put citrus oils in something that could eat like plastic, um, more toxins, not the point. Um, and I just love it because now I'm not also, I don't love drinking regular water, but now I have options to make it taste super yummy. And it helps look mood during dieting. Uh, when we are trying to, if you've ever cut sugar in your diet or tried to eliminate salt or like lessen salt, man, it's like coming off of drugs. Uh, it actually, our bodies react the same way to sugar as they do drugs. Um, and it can be really, really, really hard. Uh, and this, because of the peppermint and the lemon, the uplifting qualities of those can help lift our mood. All right, so what is in this? If, when you, if, I, I implore you, do research on these five oils because you will understand the power of doTERRA's blends. I happen to love the blends. I love the singles. I love all the products. But I love the blends because the science, the hard work of the science is done for us. And when you understand the brilliance of this, you'd be like, oh, I'm never going out without Smart and Sassy again. All right, cinnamon. Um, cinnamon supports metabolic function and helps us maintain a healthy immune system. That's super important when you're, when you're um, trying to, oh. oh, Silent Killers. Yes, Silent Killers. That's the movie, you have to go, Silent Killers. Um, okay, uh, immune system. When you start to increase your activity, you're going to the gym a little bit more, you're getting out, you're walking, our immune system can take a hit. We need to make sure that we're using our on guard, which also has cinnamon and clove, um, to help boost our immune system so that we don't get sick. Sure enough, you're gonna try to make a healthy lifestyle change and you go and you get sick. Don't let it get yourself down. Just make sure that you're supporting your immune system along the way. Um, Great. Uh, cinnamon is also really good for um, blood sugar levels. That's that metabolic function piece of it. Grapefruit suppresses appetite. Even smelling grapefruit, smelling smart and sassy can help suppress our appetite. I have a friend who puts, when she like, has a super craving, puts a drop of grapefruit under her tongue. You could do that with smart and sassy. The cinnamon and the peppermint and the ginger are a little stingy. Um, grapefruit's a little bit more benign than that, but she says it works wonders. Lemon. Oh, who doesn't love lemon? It elevates the mood. I was cleaning with lemon this morning and I was like, oh, I love lemon. I just, I adore it. Um, but it also helps us liberate toxins and break up the chemicals stored in our fat. What's interesting, oh, we'll talk about that in toxins. Um, and then peppermint and ginger on this side, both of them act to calm our stomach and they support gastrointestinal function. So, you know, when you're feeling a little sick, back in the day before you had your oils, you might make a peppermint tea or a ginger tea. Same thing here, just way more potent and way more effective. Um, so I love, my belly's not feeling good. I love this as a warm tea. Word of caution. The first time I made a warm tea with Smart and Sassy, 
uh, was early on <laughs> in my essential oil days. And I made a nice big cup of hot water. And then I put my one drop of the Smart and Sassy on top, swirled it around a little bit, and then went to like have a whiff. And the peppermint and the cinnamon and the ginger like stunk, totally stung my eyes. So if you're gonna make a warm tea, always, always, always learn from me. Put the drop of oil on the bottom. And I put a little bit of cold water in there, a little bit of warm water, and I have a nice kind of warm temperature, not super hot. So you can see with these five why this blend is so powerful. It addresses all of the challenges that we face when we're trying to change our diets over to something healthier. Um, here's more. So it's formulated with essential oils from botanicals. We know that. It supports a healthy response to carbs, which is really important. A lot of us, um, well, with gluten intolerance and all of that, uh, and there's carbs and insulin, and you can have a look at that on your own time. Um, but this, because of that cinnamon in there, can help um, break down, help that conversion from uh, calories to fat for us. Ginger, lemon, grapefruit, and cinnamon help with fat metabolism um, and energy production. And so here's the magic formula. Remember, this is not magic in a bottle. You still have to do the hard work. Um, but when we reduce our cows, especially refined sugars, we really need to stop sugaring ourselves and our children. Um, we add more activity, more exercise, and I am totally guilty. Here's the other thing. WeChat has the step reader that you can you can add yourself into and you can see like between you and all of your contacts who had the most steps there are days when I literally step a couple hundred steps I'm like I live in my office I take my kids to I pick my kids up from school on the scooter so I walk downstairs get my bike right but I am not mo moving throughout the day that's not where I am right now in my life so it's that much more important to make separate time to get your activity in um, so we reduce our cows, we increase our exercise, we add all our smart and sassy metabolic blend, and then it helps us with our healthy insulin response and energy metabolism and slows down the conversion of calories to fat. Perfect. Uh, toxins. All right. I have a big thing for toxins, if you couldn't tell. Toxins are, as Victoria reminded me, the silent killer. If we don't address it, and this is one of those things too, like, you don't know how toxic your body is until 10 years from now, 20 years from now. So this is one of those, we do it um, on a, like this is a preventative measure, right? I was just telling Ronnie today, um, we've been working on the new products. If you guys haven't seen the new China products, we're gonna go through these in detail in a minute here. Um, House, like we've been on them now for maybe two weeks, and I was like, Babe, do you feel any different? Like, in the first week, I definitely felt crappy, and that's because the toxins release back into your bloodstream. Um, your fat cells protect, so here's your fat cell, there's toxins inside your fat, and your body does that as a protective measure. If there were toxins all in our bloodstream, we'd feel pretty horrible. So, what happens when you start a detox system? Um, when you start with Zendocrine, when you start with Smart and Sassy, the toxins are released. And you can feel dizzy or just kind of, well, just kind of run down sick. And that is a good sign. That's a good sign. Don't stop. Don't stop. Um, but we want to talk about toxins for long-term health. So there it is. Toxins are processed through our liver and those little red dots over here, they hang out in our body fat. Um, so here's the link between toxins and weight gain. Um, you can have a read through these. Um, thyroid hormone levels are impacted. Um, they interfere with reception sites. Again, that has to do with the thyroid hormones, right? Thyroid is a um, regulatory hormone that helps us regulate um, our, our weight gain and weight loss. Uh, toxins also, this is interesting, number six, toxins affect the signal that tells you when you're full. Um, I think many of us from our early childhood. If you grew up in a house where it was said, eat everything that's on your plate until you get up, or then, and then you can get up, you did not learn to listen to your body when it says you're full. So most of us, most of us, I know I did. I grew up in that, in that sort of home, and I'm really cautious to do that with my kids. 
um, what we do with our kids, in case any of you parents are out there, um, I have a fir- I'm a firm believer that healthy children will not starve themselves. And I've watched my kids kind of grow. Like right now, Bree is my six year old is going through a wicked spurt. She's eating nonstop, um, and that's okay. So when she's hungry, she eats. When she's not hungry, I don't force her. Her plate sits there on the table. Inevitably, she's going to get hungry later, and she can just finish the healthy food that's right in front of her. Um, Because I want to help them understand that full feeling because I know that I don't have it or I always, I tend to supersede it. Um, And then, yeah, number seven, uh, chemical toxins weaken a special coenzyme. That's a coenzyme that we need to burn fat. So no wonder that losing weight is so challenging, but we have a tool to help um, combat the toxins. So um, a lot of people will just say, I've heard this all the time. I have a slow metabolism. Um, How many of you have heard that, right? People who struggle with weight loss um, and just kind of maintaining, right? Maintaining weight is really challenging. I've had had three biological children. I gained 80 pounds with one, 70 with the other, and 75 with the third. (laughs) Like, I know. I know what it's like to gain and to lose. Um, So let's look at what lowers our metabolic rate. All of this is within our control, okay? Um, Sugar, and that includes fruit juice and soda. Nobody should be drinking fruit juice. You can get your vitamin C from something else. Nobody should be drinking soda. It's like more toxic than a lot of things in our home. Um, Low quality carbs. This is challenging for me because I'm a bread lover, Um, but I I try to choose my my carbs wisely with more whole grains. Um, Stress and no rest. All right, stress, cortisol. If you, if you suffer from stress, look, look up this. I don't know all the science behind it. I do know that when we are stressed, cortisol levels increase, okay? Now, that's normal. Like, we, need, we can come up and then we can come down and we can live for a little bit. And then next stress, think cortisol levels rise and they come up. Here's the challenge. When somebody is in a, a very high period of stress for a very long period of time, they live at this high cortisol level. And then their bodies adapt because they can't come back down. And what that, what the high cortisol level does to our body is it wreaks havoc on our metabolic rate. So we need to be really careful to help when we're in, you know, stress is, stress is good actually, um, but not for sustained periods of time. So we need to make sure that we're able to help manage our stress and the oils are awesome for that. Bad oils lower our metabolic rate, um, dieting, starving ourselves, skipping meals lowers our metabolic rate, um, pro-inflammatory foods, so foods that um, create an inflammation response, and xenoestrogens. I think those are estrogen blockers, estrogen interrupters, or hormone interrupters. Those all lower. What can we do to raise our metabolic rate? We talked about this before. We can eat five to six small meals a day. Uh, Sleep. Sleep's so hard for me. I don't know if it's hard for you guys, but um, it's hard for me to get to sleep. It's... um, yeah, but when I do get to sleep, I, I, I recognize how important it is for, um, for just my general health, my mental health, my physical health, every, everything. So I've been trying to get more into a sleep routine. So if sleep is hard for you, you can try a routine. You can try some different oils to see which works to relax you. I've been using balance throughout the day because when I teach the kids class, I say that healthy sleep starts in the morning. Right? So if we can maintain a lower level of stress throughout the day, as opposed to run, 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 and then we get into bed and we're like, and then we expect our bodies to sleep. That doesn't work like that, right? So we have to make sure that we're um, maintaining and, and uh, managing our level of stress throughout the day so that when we get into bed, we're actually able to relax and sleep. Mixed intensity exercise, um, love that. We talk about weight training, avoiding inflammatory foods, and then of course, the slim and sassy blend. So there's something, again, we have a tool that we can help us to manage our metabolic rate right off the bat. Now, here is, here are the new products. And I love it. So, um, Ron and I were talking about, oh, right, I don't know if I finished the story, but we've been using these now for, I think, two and a half weeks. We're talking this morning, like, um, do you feel any different? Right? Because the first week I was like, oh, I'm feeling the detox, right? You just kind of feel slow, you feel, oh, like all coming out of the bloodstream, um, into the bloodstream, I should say. And you're kind of waiting for that big hump of, I've got to, like, they just have to release. 
And so we're talking this morning about like, what do we feel? And what's really interesting, and again, I can't, I don't know if it's correlated or not. The only thing that's been different so far, but it's huge, is that we've both woken up around 5.30, 5.45, ready to get out of bed. Like feeling more energized and just lighter, which is absolutely a, a side benefit or the benefit of reducing our toxic overload is just feeling like you can breathe a little bit more. Like you just feel a little bit lighter. Um, and that's what toxic overload does to us. A lot of times expats, they'll get here, they'll be so excited. And then a year down the line, a year and a half down the line, they just start to feel heavy. And that's the beginning of toxic overload. Um, so um, I'm, I just love them. I love these, I love these two products. If you're in China and you do not have these yet, um, they're awesome. They taste amazing. Our kids, so our big girls, do like I'll make one. This is the detox. This you, you take at night. I'll make one cup and then I'll have them split it. The AO, which is the antioxidant, one cup and I'll have them split it. And then they each do a PB, which is the you can take it straight. It's the live probiotic because all of our bellies, when you've been in China for a long time, your belly just kind of gets bad. And literally, gut health is probably the most important thing. If we can focus on maintaining our gut health, we're, we'll probably do all right in the best of it. Okay, let's see. I have my let's see here. Um, so we have, we are fostering to adopt a little girl named Gracie and Gracie um, has congenital heart disease and it has affected her lung health. So we, yeah, it's already half done. Um, oh my gosh, I just, I love it. It smells, so it's a single oil, but it smells like a blend. It smells like, uh, I had a friend over and she was like, what do you have in there? Like lemon and lime and orange. Like it kind of smells like a blend. I love it. It's from China, from Yunnan. So it's one of our um, very first oils sourced locally here. And it's specific for this market. So you can't buy this anywhere else yet, but it cleans our air and it helps support our lung health. So this is huge, right? A lot of times, as soon as we go outside, we're putting toxins in our body and our lungs are, are the one that's hit the most. So this has been awesome in our home and it smells so fresh. Oh, I just love it. Um, balance and inspiration. So anything citrusy is very uplifting. Um, you need this if you're going to try to, you know, cut the sugar and the, a lot of the unhealthy carbs out of your diet, you're going to need a little pick me up. So this has been amazing. It's also antimicrobial. Um, so you can clean with it you can deodorize areas. Um, I think what I'm going to try to do is make, not try to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as our kind of shoe spray. I really like it. I don't know. You should, but you need to get it. Right now, you cannot buy it individually. You buy it in the kit with all these guys. All right. AO, antioxidant. Um, antioxidants help neutralize free radicals. And free radicals are important because free radicals damage our DNA. This is no small matter here. So you've got to get antioxidants in your body. Um, and there's all the science here, right? Like they donate an electron and remain stable on their own. What antioxidants do is, um, well, exactly that, they neutralize free radicals. What, what do free radicals do? So what we're doing when we're taking AO is we're helping um, prevent damage on a cellular level that's often done by free radicals found in pollution, radiation, cigarette smoke, and herbicides. Walk on the street here, somebody smoking a cigarette, I'm on my scooter and all of us get a whiff. You know, I am just like, bah, trying to like, oh, protect my lungs, protect my lungs, where is my, where are my AO? Um, so again, these products are preventative. Do I feel my DNA being protected? No. Do I know and trust that the, that the job, that the tool is doing its job? Absolutely. What is in here? This beautiful yellow color, stains. <laughs> I'm seeing, I was feeding some to the baby and she like dribbled it down and like there's like a couple bright yellow patches here. Uh, that's the turmeric root. Um, turmeric root is, well, some of us cook with turmeric, the same, the same sort of delicious yellow, orangey flavor or color. Grapeseed extract, um, caffeine-free green tea extract and pomegranate seed and lemon essential oil. You take this in the morning, okay? So this goes in the morning and we need to do it, man. Antioxidant support, neutralize free radicals. The DX. Okay, so the detox 
you take in the evening. I remember it because it's color coded. Yellow comes before green. Okay. Um, this, if you, you need to do your own research, right? Part of this, part of our job is to empower you and equip you to find information on your own. I want you to look up broccoli seed extract and milk thistle seed extract. Okay, those two extracts. Um, there's this big fancy word that I can't even pronounce, glucoropanine maybe? Um, that's, what's bro that's what's found in broccoli and it's broken down. Basically, it's antibiotic and antimicrobial. But what it does is it draws liver out of the tox toxins out of the liver and supports its li our liver in the detox functions. Helps to fight off malignant cells from attacking healthy cells and can slow tumor growth. So for those of us that do not have tumors that are growing, preventative. Um, you need to do it, man. You just, need, you just need to do it. Like, I cannot tell you enough about detox. Do your own research. Um, morning, night, they work best in conjunction. Next, moving on to PB, or PB. This can happen anytime. I like to take it in the morning just so that I don't forget. I actually take it after I put two drops of frankincense under my tongue. Frankincense is also a cell regenerator. Look up frankincense and cancer cell research or cancel, cancer, cancer, mm, can't say that. Yeah, and cancer research. Just look up frankincense and cancer. I don't love the taste of frankincense. I do it because I know the power of frankincense as the king of the oils. So what I'll do is I'll put two drops under my tongue and then I'll chase it with some PB. You do whatever you need to do to get it down, right? PB tastes delicious. Um, the really cool thing about PB is that it has 5 billion live cells from six different probiotic strains, and it's actually um, five times coded. So a lot of times with probiotics, half of them are killed by the time they get to our gut where they actually need to be in our large and small intestine. Um, but what this does, what PB and probiotics do, is they aid in the absorption of vitamins and minerals, and they help, make, help keep our guts healthy by having the good bacteria out and with the bad bacteria. So bacteria is crucial to our gut health, but we wanna make sure that we've got the right kind in there. So obviously our gut, our large and our small intestine help us eliminate toxins in other ways. They also help us to absorb the nutrients. Super, super, super important. Um, and this is safe for kids. So have your kids do it. Both of my big girls do a little bit, um, uh, one whole stick in the mornings. So one more time. Evening, morning, and any time, okay? Um, right now, the way you can get these is in a spring detox kit. So on doTERRA.cn, if you search detox in the search bar, this will pop up. There's two options, one that has one of each, and then there's a double option. If you get this order in by the 15th of April, I don't know when you're watching this, but 15th of April, then you get two free deep blues and one free five mil digest zen. Uh, that's the promo for April. So you have to get the big kit, the 200 point kit, and you'll get all that free. Um, you'll also get a lemon, two Litzia, two Smart and Sassy roll-ons. So this is super cool. Um, Smart and Sassy has been approved in China for topical touch. Now we knew, we knew this in other markets, but here, yeah, anyway. Um, so any trouble spots, any uh, cellulitic spots, you could be rubbing this on. So this belongs in your bathroom where you get out of the shower and it's just easy to put on. Um, Litzia belongs by your diffuser, where we keep your diffuser oils. Smart and Sassy belongs, hmm, where does Smart and Sassy belong? For me, it's in my living room or in my kitchen near my water. I'm really big about putting oils where you need them so that they're always there. Um, and you don't have to be like, oh, I'll get that in a minute and then you totally forget, right? These. What we've done with these is I've taken a Ziploc bag and I've put a box or two of each one in there and it just sits on the counter. So the girls know in the morning they can go and get it and they can make it themselves. So if you've not tried these yet. They also taste amazing. Like, I don't know how they did it, but they taste amazing. All right. Yeah, so smart and sassy. Most supplements, dieting supplements on the market, have some pretty nasty stuff in it. Um, this has no stimulant, no artificial chemicals, um, no artificial color, no artificial anything. So that's, again, what makes doTERRA um, separate and far above the rest. 
100% pure therapeutic grade. Um, this is the CPTG certification that doTERRA holds. That's also why we know that it is safe for ingest, ingest, ingestion. Um, if you go to source you.com and you enter in this number here on the bottom, this is the batch number. You can see the testing results, third party testing results for every single bottle. Sometimes uh, bottles don't hit the market. Uh, like last year, we were waiting on Melissa and Roman chamomile for an entirely new crop because something, when it came in, it came in with an impurity. And so uh, as a distributor and as a mom who uses these uh, as therapeutic quality um, for their kids and their family, for my kids and my family, it makes me feel really good that the company is willing to not put something on the market. Um, knowing that, you can be sure that when you buy straight from doTERRA, don't buy on Taobao, guys. We're not talking about Taobao oils. We're talking about when you set up your own account and you order directly from the company, that is how you know that it's pure and safe. Um, so how do we use it? We've touched on a couple of these, so I'll just go through them um, quickly. You can use it with a drink. Um, one drop, two drops, three drops. It's pretty strong, so play around with it. Like this is, I don't know how much water this is, but I'll put maybe two or three drops in here and just drink it throughout the day. I like to bring this to work out with me because it kind of keeps me energized throughout the workout. Here's a recommendation if you were um, going kind of hardcore with the weight loss aspect of this, three to five drops and eight ounces of water three to five times a day. Um, a pill, I like it this way because it is super spicy. So our morning pill, um, we just got empty gel caps. Um, let's see. My pill that Ron makes, again, he takes really good care of me, uh, three Smart and Sassy, three DDR Prime. We do the Frank under our tongue, a lime, because I like to burp up the lime and not the DDR Prime, <laughs> and Zendocrin, and three drops of Zendocrin. And that's kind of our morning and evening um, detox support. A health shot, this is interesting. You can just take a couple drops and kind of shoot it down. Um, it's great before a workout, it's great before a workout. Wafting, so if you're just kind of really feeling like you have super bad cravings at the moment, um, you can literally just, and then you can use it as a quick pick me up as well. And the typ uh, topical, so you can do this. Um, if you have one of these, you could also just take some regular fresh and coconut oil Put a couple drops of this in and rub it on some trouble spots. There's a body butter you can make. Um, coconut oil and has the slim and sassy eucalyptus, wintergreen, peppermint, and all those other oils. Um, it can help reduce the appearance of cellulite and bumps around those trouble areas and you can do it in the morning and the night. In other markets outside of China they have a long life vitality pack. It's unbelievable um, for cellular energy, um, increased activity, nutrients, um, and then also health, the healthy insulin response. In China, this is our equivalent of the LLV, okay, the Lifelong Vitality Pack. If you're in other markets, go ahead and pick up an LLV because this these products are only available in China. Zenocrine uh, Complex, they have the pills in other markets in China. That's why Ron and I make our own. Um, but Zenocrine is awesome. Clove, geranium, grapefruit, and rosemary, and it is ingestible and it's the detox. So we, Ron and I take it internally. For our girls, we just put a little teeny tiny bit on the bottom of their feet in their roller. Then we just kind of have a little bit of DDR, a little bit of Zendocrine, and a little bit of um, Frank in a roller, and that's just for cellular health. Mito2 Max. Um, I hear amazing things about this. Again, they don't have it in China, and I've not ordered it from the US. But um, Victoria says that she feels like she could fly on <laughs> Mito 2 Max. It's an energy and stamina complex. Don't take it too late in the afternoon because um, it could make it hard for you to sleep, but it is stimulant free. Um, this is all about the mitochondria of the cells. It helps to, it helps the ATP of them to produce more efficiency, efficiently. Also in other markets, there's GX Assist. Um, oregano, melaleuca, lime, lemon, lemongrass, peppermint, and thyme. So you could create your own um, using those five oils. You can also do PB assist, but now we have this guy um, here. So if you can't get this in another market, you can go ahead and use that. Now there is a detox schedule. You can do an intentional 30 day detox. Um, you can do it with like in China, you have to make a lot of the things and that's totally fine. 
Um, I'm just going to go through this really quickly. If you're interested in this, you can ask for the, um, the PowerPoint and you can go through this. Basically, it's lemon, it's endocrine, smart and sassy. Um, you can do the GX assist. You really should. Um, and then the LLV. This is the second bit. And then the third bit here, that's when you start to restore the GI tract. So you want to add the PB in there as well. Um, here's some pricing. If you were looking at, um, like here, this is what we have in China, the Slim and Sassy, the Lemon, the Zenocrine, the Freshening Coconut Oil. Wholesale prices, it's super reasonable, guys. Again, this is like, this is preventative. This is something that, this is part of your healthy lifestyle. You do this so that, again, in 10, 20 years down the line, you still look and feel amazing. Um, and you're prevent, it's, it's preventative. So for us, I talk about people, I talk with people all the time about where do you want to spend your money? You can spend your money right now when you're younger, when you're healthier, and you can, you can fuel your body. You can fill your body with amazing goodness. You can feel your best right now. Or you can spend your money later in hospital visits and medical bills and all of that. That's just the truth. That's not a scare tactic. That's, not, that's just the truth. So we need to choose. If we're choosing our bodies and ourselves and our health, then we can choose right now to, it, to incorporate these into our healthy lifestyle. Um, this is the Hong Kong, the products that are available in Hong Kong and their wholesale prices. And then if you wanted to make that body butter, you could add eucalyptus and wintergreen peppermint and grapefruit. All right, detox. How do we detox? We need to eat sensibly. Um, the moment you put something from a bag or a box in your body, you need to realize that you're introducing more toxins into your body. Um, when do you wanna do it? Detoxing, um, it can be challenging, so you might want to do it on weekends. For me, I wouldn't do it on a weekend because that's when my kids are home. Um, but do it on a time where you can kind of focus, maybe get out, get a massage, take your mind off of it. Um, the length, 1 to 30 days. If you have any medical conditions, you definitely, before you start detoxing, you want to talk to somebody. Maybe take a blood test um, so you can measure the before and after as well. The seven-day seven day detox is interesting, and it's easy. Um, morning lemon juice. You don't need lemon juice. Take your lemon oil. Lots and lots and lots of water. Make sure you're having lots of fresh fruit and veggies. Um, you want more raw foods in your daily regimen during those seven days. You want to make sure that you're exercising. Sometimes when we decrease our food intake, we say, oh, well, I don't have the energy to, to detox or to exercise. You'd be surprised. You want to make sure that you're still exercising. Make sure you're detoxing the mind as well, the soul. Make sure that you're doing things like meditation or breathing or yoga. Declutter your space, anything that helps you mentally as well. Body brushing. If you've never heard of body brushing, it's, it's fascinating. Here in Shanghai, I know um, Sprout Lifestyle sells body brushes. And basically what you do is you are detoxing your skin post-shower or pre-shower. I forget exactly how it goes. But that's huge because skin is our largest organ. We want to make sure that our skin is detoxing as well. And this is fascinating. Chew slowly. So the nutrients, um, in order for our bodies to be able to absorb the nutrients, think about like uh, raw nuts, okay? There's amazing nutrients in raw nuts. There's amazing nutrients in leafy greens. But if we're just chew, 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 and then swallow, and we don't actually do the job of breaking them down here, our stomachs can't do that. Our intestines can't do that. So I think... I was at a workshop once, I think she said 40 chews per bite. The power of that is twofold. First of all, you do all the hard work of digestion starting here, um, and you enjoy your food and you feel full, you, you, you recognize that full response a little bit earlier. So chew good and slowly. Foods to enjoy, this is something that yeah, seven days I might be able to do this. I'm looking at the foods to avoid list and I'm like, oh, coffee, dairy, <laughs> greens. Um, so foods to enjoy if you're going to go for the seven days. All the normal stuff, fruits, veg, you can have chicken a couple times a week, um, beans, eggs, some healthy fats like extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, nuts, some green teas, and again, loads and loads and loads of water. I found this interesting. It's kind of, I'm sorry, it's not super clear. So I'll, I'll go through it. Um, Let's talk about serving sizes. When I started learning about eating healthy and looking at my own um, eating habits and my stress eating habits, I was shocked. 
at how little food my body actually needed to thrive. So this first bit is talking about the circumference and the thickness of a hand spread or more, right? Um, high water content, whole fresh fruits and vegetables, unlimited. If you're hungry, have a salad, have some veggies. The more detox your body is, the better it tastes, surprisingly. Um, when you cut sugar, refined sugar from your diet, you'll find that a red pepper tastes super sweet and it's really good for you. So go to town on those green leafy um, veggies, broccoli, tomatoes, peppers, all that. Um, complex carbs and whole grains, legumes and vegetable proteins, okay, so beans. The volume of a clenched fist, okay, so you look at the entire volume here. Um, a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast, right? You don't want to go any more than this. Um, beans, you don't want to go any more than this. What about low fat animal proteins and protein rich nuts and seeds? It's the circumference and the thickness of your palm, okay? So you think about a chicken breast, it's about the size. You might, it might even be half a chicken breast. I was shocked when I was doing the vegetarian challenge. Like I thought that I needed meat to survive and I totally didn't. The other thing that shocked me about, about vegetarian is in my brain, I thought that vegetarians just automatically ate healthy and it's really easy to uh, eat unhealthy vegetarian. For example, cheese pizza is vegetarian, <laughs> right? Fried noodles are vegetarian without meat in it, but neither one of those are necessarily good for you. Um, and then for sugars and fats, the diameter and the thickness of your thumb or less. So I was challenged by this when I was making pancakes for the family the other day. And like before every batch of pancakes, I put like a dab of butter in the pan. I was like, ooh, maybe I need to rethink that and get some like pan spray, right? Hydration, especially when you start detoxing, you need to make sure that you're hydrating, okay? So um, there are two types of, um, hmm, I don't think I want to go into that. I think it'll take too long. Um, but remember I said about the toxins that are being related to your bloodstream, right? Um, you need the water hydration. You need two things, water hydration, and you need to sweat out those toxins, which is why working out is so important. Um, and you just need to be, make sure that you're flushing, you're flushing, you're flushing. Anytime that you're using um, oils, for example, uh, you're sick and you're putting flu bomb on the bottom of your feet or you're ingesting flu bomb. Make sure you're super hydrated. It just makes sense, right? When the pumps are flowing, the oil's flowing too. If you're dehydrated and you're putting oils on, you're not gonna get the same benefit. So water is crucial. If you're really trying to lose weight, have a big glass of water before every meal. Like don't touch any food until you've had one massive glass of water. It helps you feel fuller longer. Um, all right, this is just a synopsis of what we've learned today. Um, the, those five oils here that make up the Smart and Sassy blend and what they do. Um, they help support our efforts to eat less and exercise more. Um, make sure that it, if you're increasing your exercise, make sure you have other oils on hand as well. Like Deep Blue is huge for pain management and inflammation relief when you start to work out. Um, some other pain management oils would be wintergrass, winter <laughs> wintergreen and lemongrass. Both of those are awesome. Remember this month, the free product of the month is a Digest Zen, which is also fantastic for any belly upsets. And the 200 point oils are two deep blue. So if you really wanna hit this hard, get up to 200 points this month, get those two deep blues and get in the gym, <laughs> get in the gym. Um, uh, okay, so Smart and Sassy also elevates our mood. It also helps with healthy hydration because we're drinking more because we like the taste of our water. Um, what makes it unique, remember, oops, there's no caffeine or other stimulants. It is CPTG certified. Uh, no sugars, zero calories, which is important. No artificial anything. It's easy and safe to use, okay? Um, who should use this product? Everybody. <laughs> everybody, everybody, everybody. When you're going for a Coke in the afternoon when you need that pick me up, go for your smart and sassy. Um, in the morning, I mean, I am a coffee lover. I will have a cup or two of coffee. I probably need to have one cup of coffee and then make myself a smart and sassy and then maybe have another cup later if I still need it, but I just love coffee. Um, so really anyone can benefit from smart and sassy. Um, I don't know who's on the line because I can't check. <laughs> if it'll, I don't know, I'm still on my computer. I'm still working out the, uh, the Zoom here. 
Um, if you don't know how to buy doTERRA yet, here's a quick synopsis. Um, before you go and do any of this, make sure that you connect with the person who referred you to this video and make sure their job is to do a wellness consult. And what a wellness consult is, is it makes sure that they are matching your top health and wellness priorities with the right product so that when you get that kit, you start to see the benefits of essential oils right away. So how do we do that? Please don't buy on Taobao. If you're in China, um, don't buy on Taobao. You cannot guarantee if it's safe, um, it's not good for you because the prices are gonna be hiked up and if the prices are lower, then what we get at wholesale, which is the lowest price that anybody can get, you have to wonder why is it so cheap? So please don't buy on Taobao. Um, setting up a VIP account in China is free. When you do that, you use the referral number of a friend. So make sure, again, that you go back to the person who referred this video to you and get their referral number. That just makes sure that you're on the right team with the right support. There's retail pricing and there's wholesale pricing. Uh, retail pricing is 25 to 30% higher than wholesale pricing, and again, Setting up a wholesale VIP account is free, and you have the ability to earn freebie points when you do so. So it's a win-win. In order to set up your account, you need to order 100 products, product points. So, um, ooh, I don't know off the top of my head, 27 maybe? Each product has a point value attached to it. In doTERRA world, we work off of points, not off of B. Typically, actually always, the higher the B value, the higher the points, they are correlated. Um, so, for example, a Spartan Sassy is 27 points. In order to set up your own account, you need at least 100 points. So that's the benefit of the wellness consult. Chances are, when you dig a little bit deeper into your top three, four health and wellness concerns, you'll get a couple other oils that will benefit you that you can get up to over 100 points. And then there's loyalty rewards. doTERRA um, rewards, <laughs> I'm trying to think of another word, doTERRA rewards loyal customers. What a loyal customer looks like in doTERRA land is ordering a little bit of product every month. 50 points of product every month will start to get you on a track to earning up to 30% back in product points. So how this works, for example, um, let's say when you set up your account, you set up with 100 points. Right off the bat, you're going to get 10% of that back in your free point bucket. We call them LRP points, loyalty rewards points. 10% back of 100 is 10 points. So you're gonna get 10 points to spend next month. Well, a lemon oil is 11 points. So you start earning products right away. The next month, you order 50 points, you earn 10% more, then 10% more. Then you go up to 15%, and you earn it 15% for three months, all the way up to 30%. So, just to give you an idea, I've been using doTERRA for, well, I don't know, maybe like 12 months now, 14 months now, and I'm at 30%. So when I place my order of 100 points, I earn 30 back right away. So doTERRA gives away like $2 million in products every year, like it's unbelievable. Um, the best way to go about, so people always ask me, what's the cheapest way to rank 50 points? 50 points, 50 points, 50 points, 50 points a month. Now, if for some reason, my phone is ringing, sorry. If for some reason you don't want 50 points that month, that's that month, no worries. Put in a 11 point, buy a lemon, okay? Buy a toothpaste at 5.5 points. Just make sure that if you order nothing, your points will wash, okay? So this is really high level. If you have no idea what's going on, that's okay. It took me about seven or eight times hearing this to understand it. Um, make sure that you go back to the person who referred and said, hey, can you explain LRP to me? Explain the loyalty rewards points to me because what we don't want you to do is miss out on free product. So you can take advantage of this if you want to. Um, the next thing to know is that every month with an order of 125 points, there's a free product in the month. So you heard me say before about the free product for April is Digest Zen. Five mil Digest Zen. You can't even buy a five mil Digest Zen unless you get it in a kit. It's awesome. It's fantastic for kids all the way up to elderly. Uh, it's worth it's worth putting in a 125 point order this month. Um, and then also in April until the 15th, there is a 200 point promotion of two deep blue. So make sure you get some more information on deep blue. If you have somebody with um, aches and pains, arthritis, um, arthritic pains, inflammation, that sort of thing, deep blue is gonna be your brand new friend. Um, that's it. 
that's it. How we do on time? I don't even know what time it is. Fantastic. Guys, thanks so much for coming. I'm going to open the lines in a minute in case anybody has any questions. I am going to stop the recording. Um, so thanks guys for watching and make sure with your questions, go up to your, the person who referred you to this video and uh, they'll get you sorted.